You can still buy coins with the new transaction method at golda.com. Check out the link in the video's description and use the code TOMLFC Heaven for 5% discount. What's up guys, I'm Tom LFC Ivan and welcome back to the Leopold Carrier Roadshow. You guys smashed 500 likes on today's first episode, so I'm bringing you another one. And it was an absolutely disastrous start to our season. We lost all three games up until this point. But now it's time to get our season back on track. And we have the big man, the beast, Bantake starting for us and I'm also playing Raya Luxo, Jordan Ive and Ro just missed so many chances so I'm putting them on the bench also Shovumi a youth academy player coming into the side he scored in preseason I think and I'm, I have high hopes for Ben Teke this will be his debut really looking forward to it let's see how many goals he can bang in okay Henderson Shovumi! Oh my god! Oh, that was that was fantastic! Oh man, the youth academy player did brilliantly there. Okay. Come on. Come on, boys! Right, Luxo, dance! Dance on these noobs! Bang! Another save. Come on, two big chances. Okay, Gomez. Okay. Show me, please! No, how? How? How does the keeper save everything, man? Come on. Right, Luxo, bang! That's a penalty, surely! Yes! Get in there! Finally! And yeah, Right, Luxo, just as he was about to shoot, ta gets taken out. And it's the big man, Big Ben, on his debut. Come on, Benteke, please. Come on. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Big Ben! Welcome to Liverpool, Christian Benteke. Beast! Great penalty. I wanted to get him up and running. And this will do his confidence the world of good. Come on, Royal Axel. Oh, great run. And Benteke spotted him. Somebody? Ashrawi! Unbelievable! How does he miss that? Well, you have to say good anticipation there to read the direction of the Come on! Come on, Ashrawi! Run! Run! Oh, wow, that's beautiful! And show me! Yes! What a goal! The youth academy player finally finds the back of the net. And the reason why I put him in the team is he has 76 finishing as an attacking midfielder. And he, he can also play center forward. He's basically a center attacking mid. And he can finish. He can finish better than Carlos Daniel. So I thought, let's put him in the team. And what a goal! He smashes it into the top corner. Oh no. Oh no, no. What a goal. I was feeling the danger when that pass inside came. And that is a stunning finish. Crystal Palace won't give up. And that is a, that is a great goal. Not even Skufi can save that. Come on, Benteke. Benteke! Oh, should have scored, man. Maybe I should have finessed it. Unlucky Benteke. Oh, that was so close. Let's freshen up the team, guys. So, Origi and two youth academy players coming on. Shenetti is a good defensive midfielder. Let's hope he can sort this game out. Oh, nice, nice passing. Oh, come on! Come on! Shoot! Unbelievable! Origi almost scored, but... Oh, it was Benteke! Damn, Benteke could have had a trick. Nice. Lovely. Oh, watch this. Oh, come on. Come on, Origi. Surely! Oh, 
No, mate, I can't. I can't put this game to bed. This is so annoying. No, oh, please. Oh my God, Scuffe, you hero. Let's try it with Ashrawi. Come on. Oh my. Oh, that was too close. Wow, man. Yes, we have done it. What a big, big victory. We lost the first two games, so we had to win this one. And we dominated Crystal Palace. This young team is full of potential. A youth academy player scored the winner. And Ben Teke could have had a hat-trick. He really had a solid game. So first of all, let's take a look at the Premier League table. And we are not in the relegation zone anymore. We are in 13th place. And the good news is that uh, we are not far off Manchester United, Arsenal and Man City. Who are you know close to the top of the league so this is going to be a very interesting season and i think Benteke will have a major major part to play and also loads of you guys said i should sell divo origi that you know what you know what actually no bids came in for origi and it's like five days until the transfer window closes so i really could accept this offer i know he's worth five million more but we have a 73 million even if we accept this deal so i don't want to risk uh, you know not selling origi because loads of you guys wanted me to sell origi he was like the second or third most wanted player and you guys want me to give the youth a chance the youth academy players so divok origi it just didn't work out for him he just he just doesn't have the finishing he just hasn't scored enough goals. The season started, I forgot to show you the squad report. So actually I wanted to take a look at the squad and we have a pretty beast squad. As you can see, Skuffe is already a world class goalkeeper, he has 93 reflexes. And once Jakubovic retires, Skuffe will be my first choice goalkeeper and then I will assign a young goalkeeper as backup. And also Deandre Yedlin, he is still growing. But he's 29 years old, so in two or three seasons we might have to look at uh, backup uh, right back. But uh, we have a, le a very young defense. Petric, 23 years old. Gomez, 25 years old, and he's improving very nicely. And also Nahuapan is just 21 years old, and he's already very, very good. And Varan is 29, but he's also very good. So Varan is the leader at the back, and we the defense is very good. Very young team, very young defense. Andy Rod, he's 23 and he has been uh, solid. He played the World Cup final as well. He's a World Cup winner. So very happy with him. Alibamba, what more can you say about this guy? Absolute cl top class player. 92 rated, one of the best, if not the best left backs in the whole world. Flanagan, also world class. I can't believe he became an 87 rated player. Dabo also very good and we have a couple of very good youth academy players in in midfield well actually uh, more than a couple and they are growing all the time and Soriano is now a regular for our second team so once the likes of uh, Dabo and uh, James Rodriguez and Henderson get very old these guys like Tillamans and the guy who's just scored Shovumi and Bakero they will take over and Jordan Ipe, who just scored an absolute worldy of a goal in the preseason game. I hope he can do the same for us in this career mode. His finishing is 81. That's where I think he's a little bit lacking, but his finishing is improving all the time. So hopefully he can bang in 10, 15 goals a season. And yeah, this guy showing me got his first goal in his first game. I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving the development of the youth academy players that we can make new legends after these guys go out. James Rodriguez and Coutinho, 31 and 30 years old. And I have never played 9 or 10 seasons in career mode. So this will be the last few months of FIFA 15. It will be very interesting to see how far I can go with these youth academy players. Uh, because they are they are turning out to be absolute legends for Liverpool and Raya Laxo, the Ibra region, I have high hopes for him as well. And Ben Teke, with 89 finishing, I expect him to bang in 10, 15, maybe 20 goals this season. He will be a really, really good, solid player for us. 
And he already could have scored a hat-trick in the previous game. It was a little bit unlucky that he only got one goal, but he got a beast debut. And Samad Yashir, I have also high hopes for him and Suarez. And Mbolo on loan at Underlect, hopefully he can grow his rating. And Ashrawi also very good finishing, 89 finishing. So we have a lot of players who are very good at finishing. And yeah, this is why I'm selling Origi, because he's 27, his finishing is only 84. Which is, which is good, but it's not world class. I mean, Rowe already has better finishing than, than Origi, so... And he's younger, so I'm, I'm focusing on the UFK players, that's what you guys wanted. I hope you guys are happy that how, how this career mode is shaping up and going. I'm now off to watch the Jurassic World movie with my girlfriend, so that's why this episode has only one game. But tomorrow I will be back with facecam episodes and the brand new carrier mode will start on my channel on the weekend. You guys will decide which one on Saturday. So look out for an upload in the morning, tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching guys, stay awesome, see you later, have a lovely day, goodbye!